The collection has an equestrian feel, it has a feeling of like the 1800s, like an English dandy feel with the tails and the coattails. And the look today is really about achieving a gorgeous complexion, a complexion that's flawless. We wanted to make the girls feel really, really pale and beautiful and from like sort of the 1800s and that time. The cleansing water. This is definitely the first product that we use to cleanse the faces of our models. It's a cleanser, a toner, and a makeup remover all in one. We're using all um, Caudalie skincare to help give the skin a real nice, fresh, kind of uh, moisturized glow. And then we're using all Tarte makeup. And to soften the eyebrow, we're using uh, their foundation, which has a lot of coverage. It's a, called Recreate. Recreate is really kind of the key driver to, co to complete that gorgeous complexion. But we are also using the eraser, which is a concealer. It really helps to cover, and it's also good for you. We are using their blush stick in Blushing Bride for the cheek and the lip, which we're applying with the fingertips just to give it a nice natural look. Very sheer. And we're applying the, the cheek stain along the upper cheekbone area, kind of in an upward stroke. Almost a little bit of a windblown look, like, you know, riding a horse. And we're creating a shine on the eyelid, which is a very essential part of the look. And that we're using um, a lip gloss, one of Tarte's Borba lip glosses. This is the gloss, and it is called Liquid Sunshine. Another option for every day is to use it just in certain areas, the eye with a fine brush. So that's um, part of, of the look that I find really exciting because I think it's a great way to highlight the eye. As a final touch, instead of powder, we're using a little of this. is a, a Beauty Elixir by Caudalie, which is one of my favorite skin products. It has rosemary and really uplifting ingredients to help give the skin a lot of life. So I'm just going to mist that on after. <laughs> Don't be scared. Smells good, yeah?